Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up Phaseware Live Server so that we can start working inside of Unreal Engine version 420 with our plugin Live Client for Unreal Engine, which is our facial performance capture solution. Without this, you wouldn't be able to see the facial performance being driven inside the virtual character in the engine. It's very simple. The first time that you open the server, all you have to do is set up the camera on this icon right here, and then it will take you straight to calibrate this natural pose. I'm not using any fancy cameras. I'm just using the camera from um, the computer itself. So I'm going to hit calibrate neutral pose. And that's basically it. Now we can see that it's tracking my face correctly. I should move my there we go, that's my eyebrow. Okay, so now, if the first step to make sure that you're gonna be able to drive the facial performance inside the engine is we have to stream to the same port. So they need to, to be able to talk to each other. So I'm just gonna click right there, and as you can see, this means it is now streaming. Now by default, this is the port that's using, 1337. And by the way, you don't need to stream in the same machine, so you can have the server running in one machine, and then you can have live client running in a different machine. The only thing you need to do would be to change your network or IP address. Okay, I am in. I'm gonna minimize this window so that we can see them both at the same time. I'm gonna bring Facebook Live Server. And then I remember that to be able to check it, you have to be in play mode because it does not work in editor because we started from the example project that we give you guys, you didn't have to go into the plugins folder and set it per project or per engine version. Just keep in mind that you can either have Live Client for Unreal per project inside the, the plugins folder in the projects folder or have it per engine version and just put the Live Client for Unreal plugin inside of the plugins folder of the engine. That really depends on the type of workflow that you're using. And at the same time, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't have to set up anything in the engine so that the server and the client would be talking to each other. And this is because we already have it set by default. Stay tuned because we're gonna do a whole series of tutorials on how to do recording, on animation blueprints, and how you can set up your morph targets and all that good stuff. Thank you so much. This was Mariana Cunha for Glassbox Technologies. Thank you.